back to your own arc.blogspot.com. There are links on water purification and filtration here, some recommendations on other purifications of the MMS and otherwise, some videos here on the biosand filter. The benefit of the biosand filter is that it is virtually an endless supply of filtration. If the, if the sand does get plugged with sediment or small particulate, you merely take the sand out, wash it, put the sand back in, and start the whole process over again. I'll go through and show you how to make your own biosand filter using five gallon buckets, well, plastic buckets, a five gallon, six gallon, and a five gallon bucket. This would be the retaining part of it here, the dispersion plate. Inside of there would be the sand filtration, and then the water gravity feeds out. So the water level inside the bucket is always level with the spigot coming out. You can see there, there's a cap on the end of that, so that while it's in storage, nothing can crawl up in there and contaminate your tube on this end. We'll go through and show you each step on this. You take your bucket and the lid of that bucket, this is your dispersion plate, you can see all the little holes that are drilled into this dispersion plate. Okay, All of these little holes are where when the water comes out of the top bucket through these few holes, so that way it's slower coming out of the bucket than it will be dripping through here that water will be oxygenated and drip into the bucket below it being full of oxygen and then it can be filtered easily and then the bio uh, that will bioactivate the friendly bacteria in the bucket that goes on top have about 20 of these little holes in here you don't want this bucket to empty very quickly this is gravity flow it has to go through the sand so I don't want it to empty very quickly and there's nothing there's no seal here on this bucket that this bucket will sit on to keep it from overflowing or leaking. So you want to make sure that this portion, these holes don't go faster than can be assimilated here and filtered through the system. Inside of the bucket you have your collection tubing there at the bottom. Just drill those holes in the collection tubing. Realize that as many holes are down here in the collection tubing, you want to have twice as many holes down here minimum as you do in this bucket up here. Okay, about 20 of them here, so you're hoping for 40, 50, 60 holes down here in these collection tubes. Your gravel would go on top of the collection tube, then the sand would fill up. You want your sand to be a half an inch below the water line, so that would be a half an inch below this pipe right here, which is your pipe where the water goes out. There's a close-up shot of your collection um, tube right there. We're going to see a picture of this fitting right here, which is just a threaded fitting, and that gasket right there. This is half-inch tubing. That gasket is the little gasket that's in the end of your garden hose. That gasket right there will fit over that half an inch um, threaded fitting, and cause a seal. There's the outside. It's an elbow with that thread on there, and there's another picture of that. That's the hose gasket and your threaded fitting there. Just threads right in, and you can go up with that. So that is an overview of your bio sand filter. Water goes in the top. There's fewer holes in the bottom of the bucket than there is in the dispersion plate. It drips out of the bottom bucket into the dispersion plate, down through the bio scum layer, the sand layer, the gravel layer, is collected in the collection tubes, gravity fed out, and there you have the bio sand filter. If you have any questions, do a search for Biosand Filter online, check out YouTube, and also always feel free to drop us a line at yourownarc.blogspot.com.